The MMR vaccine is never far from the news. And parents are concerned about getting their children vaccinated. But why? Vaccines prevent disease. And if enough people are immunised, then it's more difficult for diseases to get passed between people. Therefore, vaccination protects the whole community. So, if immunisation is so effective, what's all the fuss about the MMR vaccine? Well, first it helps to think about what the vaccination is and who should have it. The MMR vaccine is a combined vaccine against measles, mumps and rubella. And it's usually given in two doses. One when the baby is about 13 months old and a booster when the child is three years and four months. It protects against measles, a very infectious virus which can have nasty complications such as chest and ear infections and brain damage. In very serious cases, measles can kill. It also protects your child against mumps, which can lead to meningitis, deafness, and sometimes infertility in boys. The third disease the vaccine protects against is rubella, which although in itself is a minor illness, it does pose a threat to pregnant women and their unborn babies. If we don't keep the number of rubella infections under control with the vaccine, there's a danger that we'll see more cases of babies affected by congenital rubella syndrome, which can be very serious. So why doesn't everyone want to protect their child against these diseases? So I'm joined by some mums and their children to discuss some issues about the MMR vaccine. Laura, you're a bit concerned about the vaccine. Yeah, I've heard it can lead to autism. There's no credible medical evidence to suggest that MMR vaccine can cause autism. There was a minor medical paper in 1998 which did try and create that link. And that was picked up by the media and they made a big sensation out of it. But the MMR vaccine has been used for about 30 years in many different countries across the world. And there's no evidence from all the studies that have been done in those countries to substantiate that link between MMR and autism. I've heard that the signs of autism start after the vaccine. Children who develop autism usually develop the signs and symptoms around about the same time that the vaccine is given. And therefore people think there is a link, but really one does not cause the other. Nicola, what are your concerns about the vaccine? I'm worried it'll overload our immune system because it's a lot of vaccines to take at once. Babies' immune systems are really very strong and can cope with a lot of vaccines and a lot of infections at the same time. We estimate that having all the childhood immunisations actually only uses up less than 1% of a baby's total immune system. So babies' immune systems can cope really easily with that amount of vaccine. Aren't single vaccines safer though? There's no evidence to support that, that single vaccines are safer. And in fact, in some respects, they're a bit more risky because the single vaccines aren't approved by the NHS and therefore they don't go through the stringent quality control measures that the MMR vaccine does. And remember, if you use the single vaccines, your child's got to have six separate injections. And if you use the MMR, you only have to have two. And that's got to be better for the child anyway. Joanne, have you had your daughter vaccinated? Yes, I thought it would be the best thing to do. Why was that? Um, I just thought that it would be a lot easier for us just to have the injections now than a developer actual diseases later on. And did she have any side effects from the vaccine at all? She had a bit of a temperature, so I gave her some um, children's paracetamol that I already had on hand, um, and she was fine with that, and she just got a little bruise on her arm, but apart from that, no, she was fine. That's great. I'm really glad that you decided to have her vaccinated, because that's by far the safest option. The number of measles cases has risen dramatically in the UK in the last two years and numbers will continue to rise unless parents decide to have their children vaccinated with the MMR vaccine. Evidence shows that almost everybody who has a successful MMR immunisation is protected against these diseases for the rest of their lives. And in my opinion, vaccination is the best choice. For more information about the MMR vaccine, contact your GP, practice nurse or health visitor.